what's going on guys it's been a while um, I'm in my work clothes because I'm going to try to shovel out these couple piles out of here um, but I felt like it had been a while so I just wanted to come on here and uh, do a little tour for you guys so let me switch the view around here all right so we have the yurt I am actually currently working on a skirting so I've just kind of threw some wood down there for just a little basic frame and then I'm just gonna throw some uh, plywood sheets all the way around it and um, gonna seal it nice for the weather and uh, seal the actual wood itself as well against the weather so it doesn't uh, rot and everything and uh, at least we'll be protected from underneath and uh, yeah just want to show you guys a quick little tour like I said it's been a while so this here I know Chica I'm talking and it sounds like there's somebody here but there's not <laughs> so I built this thing um, around my solar batteries which are down here okay I just got a few things on there I am gonna put a shelf here so that we can have more storage just above the batteries other than that just a basic quick little throw together shelf it creates a little space here for stuff as you can see we got the singing bowl To get it going here. All right, so. We got this part here covering that we got the plug here all the wires and the little lights and everything is covered this thing has a fan when the sun is out and it's charging pretty good it starts to go and it's kind of a, like a loud fan noise which all right is all right we got used to it but this does definitely helps i'm gonna maybe try to kind of seal the inside of this a little better just for the sound but at the same time I don't want it to be too sealed because I still want some heat from the uh, from the wood stove to you know get some heat back there we don't want the batteries to get too cold right Milo <laughs> uh, we got my little workstation here for work I work from home um what else i mean it's it's not too much has changed here we're planning on doing a little like a, a shelf underneath this it's gonna be you know this big or so it's gonna fit our yoga mats a little bit of gym equipment the acupressure mat and all our books and maybe possibly the drums we'll see uh, but mostly kind of just to reorganize this and kind of tuck it away in a nice little open open shelf uh, type deal and that is just you know where we have all our oils and our cards and our crystals and our sage or cedar all this good stuff some uh, some of those uh, scent sticks or whatever I'm having a brain fart can't remember what it is called <laughs> um, and yeah of course a trusty wood stove and a little fan and don't mind all the clothes stuff drying there and gym stuff towels um yeah other than that this is it uh planning on also doing a little shelf here to kind of reorganize this kind of thing here probably just have i might build something up this high to have a little shelf here and then a shelf here kind of thing just more storage put stuff away you know what i mean and uh yeah other than that that is the kitchen 
the island you guys i don't know last video i didn't really have the island or i had it semi-finished but that's what it looks like just the same wood as this same kind of style and we got some uh shelves back here for some kitchen items and other than that i mean kitchen is still the same we got all our spices and everything this up top eventually i want to kind of I'm, what I'm going to do is build a little wall up to about that high and come this way and then straight down. This will just be kind of blocked so we can't see up there and we'll figure out, you know, put some decor or whatnot up there. Maybe some lights coming down, whatever. I might put some lights on the, one of the posts here shining down onto the kitchen like that. Uh, just lots of little projects to do. But this will be a wall and then I'm probably going to start from the corner of the wall and go down in that angle here and just put like a curtain rod, hook up a rod somehow here and just put a curtain. And then this will be kind of the easy access. I haven't figured out a good way other than grabbing a little step ladder and going up there and stuff. But uh, we don't really touch that stuff too much. That is actually our bed wrapped up in two uh, bed sheets or fitted sheets just to protect it and keep it clean and whatnot. When we open it up, it's kind of like a little folding, uh, it's called Millard on Amazon. Not bad, it's really firm, it's nice and comfy. Opens up into a bed and also that's kind of folded like a little couch right now. And um, yeah, we just put our, throw our blanket on top. And then we sleep on that here. And we're good to go there. Other than that, I am working on just kind of painting this up here. Got everything taped off. I put one coat of white paint and I'm going to do that. Let's see here. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna put another coat, take the paint off. What I'll probably do here, we got a bunch of stuff, you know what I'm saying here. I'm gonna put a couple little pieces of wood in here and maybe use these three shells, get rid of the bottom and then take the, the bottom half here and just kind of block it off possibly. If we don't really need that storage space just block it off with a white panel or something like that and i plan on putting white panel in between all these uh just to kind of block the cracks and everything because the wood shrunk from drying out because it was fresh wood and yeah other than that just kind of fix things up here make it look nice and neat same thing over here i might put some uh boards here make little shelves put some white panel block it all off also, the compost toilet, this is all gonna be refinished and uh, painted white, I imagine, or, or something, I don't know, we'll see. But other than that, this is how we have it. We just got a little couple shelves for towels and stuff in the back corner. And uh, we got a little bit of storage down there, but eventually I would love to cut a little piece here, put it on a hinge. That box can go underneath. Um, I might try to find a different box that's not so thick and takes up so much room to put under and then you can just kind of lift up, grab your scoop of sawdust and peat moss, throw it in there instead of having it there, clears a lot more room. But yeah, that is the, the bathroom situation. Of course, this here is our shower. We have a, like a little portable uh, submergible pump, like nozzle shower head thing that we just kind of put in the bucket and then we feed it up here into our shower. The curtain goes around like that into a tote. We haven't used it yet. Um, that was, uh, you know, just a little rig up for now. And then you just go dump the tote outside once you're done. And uh, yeah, other than that, I mean, that's it, that's all. Just a quick little tour. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go back outside here and get that pile going i'm meeting a friend uh to go watch a islanders game in charlottetown at the east link center so 
Haven't watched a hockey game in a while. Figured, you know what? He's got free tickets. Let's go. Let's go. So I'm going to go do that. And then I'm going to head out. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching. I just wanted to give you guys a quick little tour. And because uh, it's been a while. But I'm going to do my best to try and stay on top of getting some videos out there and putting stuff. I got to go through my whole photo album. And uh, anyways, peace for now.